situation. So um, I've had conversations with the con owner himself. He was um, given information from the security team about, about what happened. He was totally we upset. All know, we all know the story. You don't need to. You you don't need a recap. If you want to get down to the where it, my problem lies with you is your stories change no matter where you're at. So some sometimes you get a glimpse of it where it's the whole story and sometimes you don't. You know, I'm sorry. I'm I'm really sorry, Brent, that he didn't cater to every move, every money that you gave him. I'm sorry that you were you thought you were entitled to a video that you thought you had and then you got and then you didn't get like money doesn't equal obligation to you. Yes, there. it does. Yes, it does. Let me ex let me explain to you. Let me let me explain to you why when you pay for something, a service that he, uh, that he chooses to let offer, you are entitled to that. I'm sorry if you want if you want to uh, argue that, then that's your problem, not mine. Um, when you offer a service, if you don't provide that service, David Yost is the entitled one, not me. So, and you want to argue that if you want you want to you want to go to any it's con? Money. It's no, money. No, no, no. You want to go to you any vendor? It's a money. You can give him as much money as you want, but his morals and values are going to be more important. No, 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 no. Fairy tale. I'm I'm talking about the service that you pay for that he advertises. You are entitled to that service when you pay he, for that service. So, when you harass a man at each con and you say I pay for this service and i get this service no matter where i go no wonder if you're at every single con he's at asking him for a lot no of that was only that con that was only the up holding the whole line because you want to buy all these he things. was the only i was the only one there at that time and then there was only like one or two people behind me by the time everything was finished your social etiquette wasn't there your social around like you could come back and say, hey, can I do this when you're less busy? There's a social etiquette that you need to understand that there is. There's people behind you, people ahead of you. And just because you can doesn't mean you should. Just because you can buy a lot of things doesn't mean you should. You need to understand that the celebrity has a life too, just as well. You Excuse go there, me. Um, you, 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 you're not in a position to tell anyone what they can and cannot buy. And it is their responsibility as a seller to make that determination on their own. And I can't believe you, we have to put Henry through this discussion. It's just embarrassing, <laughs> quite, quite frankly. It's, embarrassing. it's, it's it? embarrassing that that we even have to have this discussion because when someone offers Why? a service- you don't want to bring it up again? because No, 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 I, I'm willing to bad. talk about it with you because it's important that if people have this viewpoint, then it's it's just it's just crazy to me that we're even having this discussion. Quite frankly, um, when we don't want to have the discussion, uh, 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 we want to brush him, it up. Let him let him go. Let him let him talk. Ty, go ahead, Britt. Okay, so w when you go to a booth and you offer to, when you ask for a service and they agree to it, it is the 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 the, the guest's responsibility to determine if they can provide that service. If they can't, they should say no. I don't want to do I, I don't want to do quotes. I don't want to do a video. But when he agrees to everything that I, I request, then he, he has to he has to follow what through is, on it. I'm sorry. What is consent? So he took back consent and said, I want you to delete the video. That is in every right his he can but, take and he can give. Giving consent does not mean you are entitled but he to he took his my consent. money already. You he don't have a take it. He can take it right back. No, if he's now, if you God, you have to put back, I can't believe this is embarrassing. This is absolutely embarrassing that you're even saying this. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to be a lot tougher now because this is a bunch of bullshit. He, he took my money and he could take it back. Uh, uh. That's not how it works. He, well, let, let, let's use an autograph. For example, he signs an autograph. He can't take that back. I pay for the service. He gives the autograph. He gives it to me. You, you think he's entitled to take it back? I don't think so. So this time, light, light thinking you're just pissed off that I talk shit about whoever your favorite ranger is because what you're saying is absolutely ridiculous. You're speaking for me is 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 wonderful because I mean I'm sure you're speaking for Billy or J David as well. I you we still haven't heard from his side because how much harassment you're giving him. You've given no, him No, because so he doesn't want he doesn't want to talk. 
we have heard from everybody Why else. Why would but he him. want to? Why would because, he? Because he has a rep. Because he doesn't want to. Because he knows that his excuse is bullshit. His excuse is bullshit. That they asked him a question about the walk off, and I and I and I give a, I play a clip from Fanware to give context. Think about it from his perspective. Then think he should have said it. no, and he should no, have refunded the about money it from his perspective. If I had some guy harassing me, of course I'm going to send the security on your ass. And then you mentioned the enemy. Of course I'm going to send. Oh, you're you're you're. you're this is ridiculous. And, and and I I'm not seeing the chat in the comments, but not, whoever agrees with not, this nonsense is is ridiculous because you when you pay for a service, you're entitled to it. And if he didn't like it, he should he should have been nice about it and he say you okay. The service you deleted the video. Oh, because he had security surround. You, you, you think that's okay? They, you deleted it, the video, and then you wanted to take another video. He gave you the video. It was your fault. No, you no, 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 no. We agreed to uh, tape the whole footage. We agreed to tape the entire session. And whether it's one continuous video or multiple videos, th that's irrelevant. And you want to argue that, then that's your prerogative. But I paid to record the entire session. And April made the same bullshit argument but she's not here anymore because she's because she, she has no standards not backing her that's you, want a, that's a <laughs> you want your clips you're gonna make horrendous statements so you can get on henry's channel you are clout god you are a clout and you're gonna keep clouding this man because guess what you're irrelevant if you don't have him he makes you relevant Henry makes you relevant there's no other realm where you're relevant I'm okay with being on the screen and then being off and having my life, but power. Me too. Well, life. how? Why are you making that? Assumption? I did not make. I did not ask for those videos of of Henry's editor to make those of those clips of me. I never asked for that. Henry did. Henry had editor whoa, made whoa, those right. on his own. Whoa, quote. Britt, you're a lie. You sent me you like clip this, clip that, clip this, clip no, that. No, no, no. The, I'm no, no, no. Uh, the, 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 those videos. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. You are fully uh, aware of the tension you get from this. <laughs> You sure, and it, you have a problem with that? Like, if someone wants to go on YouTube to get attention, if Rick and Ranger wants to push Rise of the Jetty, you have a problem you with that? Why are on his channel every week? Because it gives you attention. Why do you so say her so, these things you do? Yeah, because if I want attention, attention they, they, you got a problem with that? Tomorrow, you're going to have another You got a problem with that, right? You got a problem with that? Oh, no, you're, you're just sad. You're just sad that, that I'm saying stuff that you don't like, that... It, that that I'm I'm not pushing the same narrative as most of the other people in your in your in the comment section. That's that's well, that's you're right. Here's the thing, Fairy Ty. Anyone who hits the link, I bring them up. What the, what happens is Brent hits the link more often, and then I look at analytics to figure out what I should clip and what I shouldn't. And when Brent yeah. is up here, the chat chats more, which indicates to me, hey, I need to clip this segment. It makes sense business wide. I'm not like arguing that it doesn't make sense. I don't, I understand why it would, but. You don't like that human, I'm getting attention. No, is, if, oh. okay. As a human to human, what I, like a human being to human being, I care. I wouldn't want anything bad to happen, nothing. But on a moral standpoint, when it comes to everything, I think that, your social awareness, your behavior has not changed at these cons, and it won't unless you learn. You haven't learned. You won't. I don't. What does will it take? Will it take you getting kicked out of somewhere for it to sink in? Maybe I shouldn't behave the way I am around celebrities. I, so you agree? You agree with David Yosef? You agree with Christie's behavior? Steve complaining to a security guard that asked him about Zachary Taylor McGinnis. You think that's okay? Yeah. Are, are you going to say if Steve complains to a security guard says that I don't tell this I, guy that, that I'm annoyed that he's asking me about Steve? If I put myself in the to their shoes and I said, "Hey, I'm a celebrity and I feel uncomfortable with this man. Can you please can in you general please terms, handle it?" Yes, I approve the. No, no, you're answering general terms. This is this is what this is what Aaron did in his interview. He answered in his general it. statements. Answer the question: oh, if, if, Are you okay with Steve Cardenas asking security guard to approach me and telling me that um, if I don't stop, then um, I might be banned because I asked him about Zachary Taylor McGinnis? Are you okay with that behavior? It's the security guard said they're going to have a lot more clearance than you, and yes, they're going to be able to do that. So they're doing their job. 
But you, but you, but you, you agree with what Steve did. Yo, you agree with what Steve did. You're not entitled to any celebrity just because you paid. You're not answering the question. You're entitled (laughs) to these. You're not answering the question, but because you know that you know you 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 agree with what Steve did. Yes. Okay. Then people will make their own determination as to. Whether I you need to have like the answer, I said yes. No, 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 no. That's fine. I don't like most of the stuff Security they're saying, but do whatever. <laughs> right? Okay. They have. Sure. It's their job. Like, what do you want them to do? Say, oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm asking about job. Steve. I'm not asking about the security guards. You see, because you know. No, I, no, I'm asking like about Steve, person. not about the security guards. The, what, what Steve did. You you agree with what Steve did? Asking the security guards to talk to me about. That was um, his option. He had options. You didn't. What do you mean that he had options? Celebrities he had options. Not- have options. Celebrities who are there, they're going to have a lot more options than you. But that is who he chose, chose the option of being um, a quote unquote tough ranger, like Austin St. John. When I question, I grilled him. Uh, Diary Taylor why McGinnis. are you doing the? Why are you grilling him? Why? What? What did you? What good did you think would come out of that? What logical good did you think would come out of grilling someone who literally just wanted to go there to enjoy the con? So no one's entitled. Not, no one's you entitled. Grilling to- them, you were aware of your behavior. You were aware by grilling them, I'm going to get attention, and I could get maybe the consequences to my actions, and that's what happened. You don't like the consequences to your own actions, and when it happens, you complain, and it. It's entitlement. That's what it is. It's entitlement. You think money speaks language when it doesn't. Money doesn't rule. Absolutely. No, 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 We're no, no, no. Corrupt. They're not. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. You're, 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 um, when you, you pay for a service, you're entitled to it. Hundred. They're not going to be your best friend just because they I never said money. they were, they were my best you friend. They're going to be their best friend. Obviously. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. I think y'all. I think this. Henry, is, I'm sorry. This is um. This is I'm sorry, Henry. I have to participate in this, in this nonsense. <laughs> I'm sorry. This nonsense. This wolf from the fairy tale. You're you're you're, you're bunch of nonsense. I'll I'm, hear it tomorrow where the PMC drama comes. All right. I'll see the drama tomorrow. Let's Bye-bye. drop down fairy tale. Um. Well, you know, uh, I. If you pay for a service, you should get the service. But um, it's just unbelievable that this 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 nonsense I'm hearing. Like you, you're not entitled to. No, that's not how it works. I'm sorry, um, David. Yost, all this stuff. They have a responsibility. If you offer a service and you take someone's money, you you have to give that service. If you don't want to give the service, don't offer it, or give refund the money. Okay. And then it's just it's just that simple. And if if, if you want to argue, if you want to support that, Henry, because you, you want to grow your numbers, that's your prerogative, Henry. <laughs> Come on now. This is it's just pure it, ridiculousness. And apparently going to PMC, uh, people might think like that. And it's just craziness to me. It's it's absolutely outrageous that people would think that um, David Yost has is has is the right to have four security guards surround me. I mean, I I laugh about this with the owner of More Phenomenal Expo. He'll come up on here. He'll corroborate what I'm saying. We it, I, I laugh. We laughed about it, but it got serious when I we started discussing about the importance of informing people about this behavior. Fans need to know. Con owners like um, the owner of More Phenomenal Expo, his name's Adam, I believe. Um, they need to know. This type of be- this nonsense behavior, and David gets away with it because people like Fairy Todd are defending him, and he ha- and David has a bunch of bunch of sips defending him, and it's just outrageous. <laughs> Holy shit! Like, I, and, I would and, say and, and, you and have people- evolved, man. You have you have grown up on the channel, right? Because I away. mean, from the beginning, you there's always a, a saying um, about don't don't see your heroes. Something like that. I, yeah, I, I, never, never meet I, your heroes. Never meet your heroes. And it's kind of like when I start going to concerts, I'm thinking, what if I meet this person and they're a piece of shit? What if I meet them and they're not nice? Like Ray Reality pointed out, they're not trying to be your friends because she probably made the mistake of being forming friends. I'm, I'm speculating on her part. I'm, I'm, I'm not speaking facts here. A speculation. She probably for, tried to form a friendship with them based on what she experienced at the con and i i knew that's not a good thing to do and i i know she comes from a very good place to try to tell me that and i already knew that and i it's, i try to maybe i'll tell her that 
I, I, I'm aware of that. I thank you for giving me the warning because you speak from experience, but they're not your friends. I understand that, but it's a business. And I, I like, I like their character, not the person is like Amy Joe. I like the character. It was an awkward, when we talked, it was an awkward, she tried her best to be engaging, but that's not her thing. And that's okay because I'm not there to be friends with her. Okay. I'm there to have a good interaction. And it was a cordial night. And if I were to see her, she we wave hi and it'd be friendly, cordial, but don't mistake that for friendship because I don't know her as a person. I have to hang out with her outside of the con in personal situations. And that's not going to happen. So uh, we're just going to have to settle for cordial business relationships. That's same with Austin, same with Walter, same with everybody. And it's a <laughs> huge red flag when at the, even at the con level, David is treating me the way he is. Karen, I can't even imagine how they are personally. I don't even know. Have and you seen Karen at PMC? I did. Did she say hi? I saw Chrissy. No, I, I avoided her. I saw Chrissy too. Mm. I saw them all. They're, they're all there. And it's kind of, I have, to, I have to tread carefully because if I don't, well, I'm just to get triggered just because they see me, you know? <laughs> and it's kind of like, I don't want drama at PMC. And then Scott has to tell Karen to uh, call security on her because I'm a, I'm taking precautions. And for, that's what I have to do because apparently uh. she's triggered just because, just because I, I mentioned uh, she, she associated me with your channel and it's, I think you're a great channel. Um, <laughs> and despite our disagreements, despite I, I deal with the, the bullshit in your comment section in your discord because your your channel is unique and i and and you and i know you you take certain positions because you're trying to grow your channel whoa, and whoa, I, whoa. I never right? take a position to grow my channel i never do that i never said that Any well i i i, 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 see, I suspect it you 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 I, um i've stood by how they treated you at ranger stop i told you you shouldn't have brought me up i stand by it Right, but I didn't deserve that behavior. I mean, in terms of expectation, maybe, but in terms of if you're an owner of a con Henry and and someone did that and you had the final say, would you say that's not right? That's not right. You that's not how you treat fans just because they mentioned someone's oh, yeah. name. <laughs> yeah, if I had final say, I'm like, hey, are you, they are tripping. Uh, yeah, the 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 manager or whoever is tripping. But I'm not. I don't have final say. And I know right, how, right, I know but, how but, but fragile that's, they are. I know how fragile they are. Their their ego and their their right, right. But you don't make that clarification, and your fans are running with the the idea that if you if Henry was a con owner, he would be okay with that behavior. He would be like, "Chrissy, you did a good job today. You show you really showed <laughs> that guy a good job." But uh, you would say you would say you, you did you were to, wrong. You have to read the room. You didn't read the room, right. Right? and I think you feel like you don't have to read the room. Well, at that time, it was I didn't know who she was. If it was Karen, I would be like, "Oh, he's banned." And Karen, and Karen's the owner. Um, I wouldn't have said, but I don't know who I don't know who these people are. Like, <laughs> I don't know who who. Like, apparently, there are a bunch of volunteers who are. They had a meeting, and I'm like, I didn't know about this. A uh, geek culture 101. He he defect. He he broke ranks, and I I really I I don't know if he's gonna come on. I I really appreciate him. Uh, Stephanie Dana, um, Geek Culture One One's friend. They they broke ranks. They knew what they knew the agenda, and they broke ranks. And I really appreciate them for doing that because I know um, Geek Culture One One doesn't like how I question Steve about Zachary Taylor Mingus, and um, we're gonna have to dis agree or disagree on that. But uh, but that was enough. Uh, I do appreciate him sticking up and saying that I should have said something to Christy. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, it, I do appreciate that. And I'd seen Chris today, like, yeah, now I know. All right, we got and it's kind of we got people in the back. Um, I don't know if they want to talk to you per se, but I'm willing to give everyone like a minute or two minutes because I'm like tired and I gotta leave early in the morning for a road trip. Uh-huh. Um, oh PMC? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming to PMC. Uh, <laughs> let's bring up King Snow. Are you at PMC, King Snow? I'll be there tomorrow. Are you going to be Brent's bodyguard? I'm find out, man. On some, on some find out. Maybe, maybe he'll, maybe he'll, he'll help me out a little bit. I'm getting some support, you know. In all, in all seriousness, I mean, like, I mean, I mean, we, we, uh, for the most part, everybody that comes on here seems like they're grown folk. Like at the end of the day, Brent, he's a grown man. He makes whatever good or bad decisions he wants to make. 
He's aware of the consequences of said decisions. Why is it anybody's business what he does with said decisions? Why do you care he's harassing David Yost, even though he wasn't? <laughs> oh, he had a good relationship with David Yost until that incident, whatever. Why does everybody give a shit? It's nobody's damn business. If Brent wants to walk around PMC butt-ass naked, that's on Brent. He knows the repercussions of what's going to happen. Why does anybody care? Is it affecting your, your con experience? Is it affecting your thing? Nah. Well, maybe yeah, if I did that, and I, it, we're joking, but it's kind of like if I were to do that, maybe that would affect some people's con experience. No, I mean, that's fair, but my point is like people, I honestly feel like if you didn't hate, if you didn't like dislike JDF or hate JDF or whatever, half of this shit that you do, nobody would care about. If you actually were a JDF fan, like amongst all these other JDF fans, I guarantee you nobody would give a shit. Everybody would just look the other way and whatever the case may be. But since you, since you oppose JDF, people want to hate you just to hate you on that. And then they find any other reason to hate you. And it's annoying as hell. You got people on the stream coming up here talking like Fairy Todd, talking all sorts of bullshit. I don't know what the hell he was talking. You know, I don't know what, I don't know. I mean, just, you know, it's, yeah. You know, you're entitled, Brent. At the end of the day, I pay for something I want it. Like, I, if I pay for my house and it's mortgage is up, everything's up, leaseholder, I mean, or man, random mortgage lender comes up. Hey, listen, by the way, we want to take the house, but I'm up on my payments. Can't do that. I go to a con, I pay for an autograph, I pay for a video. Everybody gets this misconception that he thinks that, oh, he paid a video and then it got deleted or whatever the case may be. He paid for a video. It was for the entire interaction. I don't understand why that's so hard for people to understand. It got deleted, it got cut off because he, he messed with the camera. He wasn't paying $65 for a two minute video. You know what I mean? Like it's stupid, it's common sense. A lot of people lack it and it shows. People in the chat, like they just like talking just to talk. And like he like in Brent's, uh, Brent's famous words, like be keyboard warriors. And at the end of the day, I'm that guy. You guys want to come up here and talk to me. By all means, I'll have the back and forth. I'm not going to waffle. I'm not going to stutter. I'm not going to go back and forth. It is what it is. And at PMC on some real shit, I mean, I'm not saying I'm going to fight nobody because that's silly. I'm not trying to get myself kicked out of anything. But at the same time, if I see if I feel like you harassing him for no reason, because he's already told me some stuff that people have been doing that I'm not a fan of that they criticize him for doing to other people. So y'all you, you, can't have it both ways. Y'all can't have your cake and eat it too. And I'm not trying to be tough guy, Mr. Whatever the case may be. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to stand for bullying, man. We, we all grown. Y'all want to try and bully somebody, y'all can try and bully me. All right. Thank okay, you. Thank King. you. Thank you, King, thank you, King Snow. Snow. See, see you tomorrow, bud. See you tomorrow. Bud. I see you. All right. Uh, that was King Snow. Um, oh, Snoop. Snoop. Oh, oh. All right, Bushido, go ahead. You got your minute. Yo. And how's everybody doing this fine night? But yeah, I take a moment to take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. In through <laughs> the nose, out through the mouth. <laughs> that was a migraine, but yeah, we all need to just chill. <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts on the fairy tie versus Brent? Uh, oh my god. I was very, how do we say, reserved and kept his emotions in check, but it's like, bruh, this argument is stonewalling. This is like talking to a brick wall. Well, I, I did think it was going anywhere. Um, you know, sometimes people feel how they feel. Brent, uh, you know, if you pay for a service, he should get the service. And Fairy Todd felt like if you harassed him for the service, you shouldn't get the service you pay for. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, Very I summed that, that up correctly. Um, I mean, I go to anime conventions, and yeah, I pay for their autograph. Okay, so who who are you siding with? You siding with Brent or Fairy Tot? Eh, and I feel a little bit indifferent, or maybe just neutral on that. Nah, no, 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 no. We not riding the fence over here. You got to pick a goddamn side. <laughs> uh, I'd say Brent because right, there we go. David Yost. Wasn't in the right, but I'd still like to hang out with them someday. Well, <laughs> that, that shit, that sip is stale since you said you side with Brent. It's game over. I'm telling David Yost right now. <laughs> I'm clipping this and sending it to him via via Instagram and be like, I'm making sure oh, I boy. put everything. Oh, boy. All right, Mr. Bushido, watch him on YouTube. I think I might have hung myself there. <laughs> All right, Bushido, I'm going to drop you down so we can get other people up so I can get out of here. All right? All right. All right, peace. All right. Uh, Let's bring up Laura. Wake your ass up, girl. Wake up. Give me, give us some hugs and shit. Give us that positive energy. Who you siding with, Fairy Todd or Brent? Oh, you know I'm not playing that game. What? What do you mean? Nope. You ain't gonna pick a side. 
Nope. I'm pick Team Henry. Oh. I'm Team Resilient. Okay. All right. All right. Um, <laughs> I like I, that. I, no, I heard you. I heard you say um, my name, and I wanted to come on and say hugs and take love to you all. And Brent, sometimes you annoy the resilient out of me, but at the same time, life would be uninteresting without you. Oh, oh, love of your life oh. shit right there. Yeah, you know I'm saying. You know, you, I, uh, you want to strangle you sometimes, but at the same time, you're like, all right, I'm, I'm. It could be some. All right. Some some type of tension going on right there. I don't know what type, but you're you're kind of growing on me, Brent. I look at me. I didn't t- look. I picked them out. From nowhere, and look at he's growing on people like a goddamn mushroom. I still, here's right. the thing. Here's the thing. I am always Team Jason forever <laughs> until I take my last breath. I am Team Jason. So we will always disagree on that because I am Jason's my guy forever. You right. know? Um, but like I said, you're kind of growing on me. Um, so. As long as you stay the way you're going yeah, to be right thing. now, like the way you are now, we'll be all right. I mean, we don't got to be best friends or anything right. like that, but you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah. I mean, what right. have I done that to to for you for me to grow on you? What what I, what specifically? Maybe it's. What you've done, I don't know. I I I don't know. You're just kind of there, and it's like all of a sudden it's like stay resilient. Okay, it's Brian again. I guess I'll deal with him, but now <laughs> it's okay. Okay, okay. So Maybe I'm... it's Stockholm syndrome. I don't know. <laughs> what Stockholm? Hey yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Stockholm syndrome that requires you to be a prisoner, Laura. <laughs> Salute to my man Dubs dropping five memberships. Well, I'm just. <laughs> I, I I will extend. I got money. All, the good stuff. all okay. right, all right. Well, okay. thank you, Laura. All right, thank you. Thank you. All right, love you, Henry. Love <laughs> you. All right, I think Fairy Todd wants some get back. What What do you say, Brent? But what right. more does he want to say? Okay, um, he, he said no. All right, Reekin, you got one minute. Let's go, man. God. Oh man, listen. Let me tell. Let Stay me tell a story, Stay okay? Let me try to prove to y'all what's weed. going on. With I work for Rumble, someone who has twelve thousand followers on Rumble. We do a okay. comic and culture show. Y'all know me and Juby cooking. We did a show, and I told my boss half the show was talking about Brent. Okay, so I'm on so a what? whole another platform talking about Power Ranger stuff, Henry's channel, and she was trying to do Henry's formula on something else, and it turned okay. into a situation so where I was like, Nah, this is Reekin's house. We're now putting. Brent's, you know, poster on the wall in my house. So when I saw that, it made me look at what's going on with you, Brent. So this little okay, formation so we got over here is obviously making noise and we're doing things. So regardless of what's going on, like like you said, you see it. You're going on people, bro. You're going on people. So um, okay, I just appreciate so you guys. I appreciate where the channel's going, what's going on. I progressed. The movement has progressed with what's going on. Say what you will about everything. Uh, the family going on here. Join Henry's Cord. Um, <laughs> that's all I got for you guys. Keep it up. You know what I'm saying? As soon as you squash it with Drew, bro, we'll talk. You'll get your okay, armor back. So what? You know, we're good. Uh, I know Drew feels the type of way, but he plays He plays around too. Um, and and Fairy's the type of guy that'll say that the movie's dead, but as soon as Johnny's on the credits or someone he likes, he's going to be front row with the popcorn watching the movie. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So take take all that with a grain of salt. I think a lot of it is hate, but you have the gift of gab, my friend, good or bad. And that's what it is. Your People hate that they love the drama. You know what I'm saying? So regardless if they love you, hate it or love it, if you got the gift of gab, you're a star. And obviously, if you take all the videos away without you and the thumbnails and the jo- how how big <laughs> is Billy Henry? Ooh. Honestly. Ooh. Honestly. You take Brent out of everything like y'all want. 
Let is this cook. channel really doing the damage Ooh, that it's been? Ooh, hot take. Because Daddy's only a piece. <laughs> All right, Rick. Brent's done a lot of work here. You Thank know, you. and Henry, you're awesome at what you do, bro. Screw <laughs> everything. This has been a crazy week. Awesome streams. KOD. <laughs> Love y'all. All right, Raza and NJ, hey. y'all. <laughs> Ooh, Brent, hot take. What would the channel be without you, man? What would it be, Brent? I'm sure, Henry, you do, you do just fine with whether I'm here or not. I, I do believe that um, your approach, even though you do have a bias, um, oh, yes, of course, <laughs> of course. I mean, because and everybody has a bias. I mean, everybody has a bias, and and you're trying to grow your content creator. You're trying to grow your channel. That's why I was um, when people shit on Recon Ranger for doing the stupid rise and the, they they Whoa, call it stupid. stupid. They, call, they call it they call it stupid, and I'm thinking to myself, <laughs> you guys need to show some damn respect on what he's doing. Um, I might not be interested, and in, people might not be fully invested in it, but. For you to question him as to what he's doing just because you don't like it, I mean, I think it, his effort should be applauded regardless of whether you like it or not. And I've been very consistent from that from the beginning. If people want to push their, I might think it, um, I might not be fully invested in it, but I feel like people should have the right to do that because that's what Henry, Henry's trying to grow. Is trying, people are trying to grow whatever creative ideas that they have. And I see that at the vendor booths. Would I buy most of the stuff there? No. I think most of it would be a waste of money, for, quite frankly. <laughs> but I'm not going to sit up here and say that, oh, they're a bunch, I'm, the, this specific thing is trash, blah, 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 waste of love. I would never do that. But I feel like we have to be more respectful. And I do appreciate him acknowledging that because most people don't want to do that. And and I do appreciate I do appreciate Laura. They she didn't have to say that I'm growing on her. I mean, she could have maintained her position, which is absolutely her right. But I do appreciate people like them acknowledging that I am growing on them. That's that's not. I mean, I don't expect it. I, it's not necessary at all. But it's kind of like it's nice. Okay. And so what? as for people like Fairy Todd, um, I will continue to push back on um, your quite frankly nonsense ideas. Um, you, you wouldn't, you wouldn't go to a con and, and, and you wouldn't go to a con like PMC and cook. push those ideas. If, if, if Karen Asher, David Fielding, Barbara Goodson, if they pulled that stunt on people, people would be calling to Scott Zillner. He'd be having the lines for the to top 10 would be longer than Shiro Azumi's. So, um, yeah, that, that simply won't fly. And I, I do feel that, um, what you're saying might be because you don't like my opinions, but you don't want to say it. And um, I don't know who I offended. JDF, I, uh, David Yost, Karen Ashley. Um, I'm sure these are your favorite range. I don't know, but I stand by what I say because um, facts over feelings. So whether I love David Yost on the show, even though I knew I knew from the beginning, like even I knew um, not to be too friends, like because they could be different in real life. I was a huge supporter of his. His character was was phenomenal, and um, I I spent a lot of money on him that day because I flew up to see him because I supported him and what he did was outrageous. And um, people like more phenomenal owner, more phenomenal expo. If you think your line of thinking, Fairy Todd, is okay, talk to the owner of More Phenomenal Expo. Would, would he tolerate that behavior from his guests? And you, if you meet him, talk to him, see what he says, or talk to just talk to any other uh, con goer, see if if they pay for a service, and they don't get it because the the guest doesn't like what doesn't like how they sign a certain item, doesn't like um, uh, what they say in the video, should they just they should just keep your their your money. I think that's absolutely wrong, in my opinion, and I think I think you know deep down that 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 you also agree that that's wrong, but you can't find you don't want to argue the points of what i'm saying and the reason why i'm I'm speaking about this is because i i suspect you're not the only one that feels this way but i i feel that support because too many of these guests they take advantage of the con goer and it's important that they that they should be taken advantage of like that and so that's why i feel it's important to speak out and for you to defend a celebrity guest, take advantage of their of their 
of fans like that. That sh- it's not right. And people at these cons, they, they, they're hearing my message. I'm getting, people are approaching me like this guy dressed like Ernie. I'll send Henry, I'll send you a picture. He, he saw my video, David, he was, sh- he was sh- surprised. He, he, he was shocked. And I suspect if he meets David Yost, he might just choose not to, and, or he might choose to do so with, um, or might buy less. We don't know, but people deserve to know these things because people go to these cons, they're spending a lot of money. All and, right. Yeah, I'm with you, but I got to shut this down, Brent, man. Good rant, good shit. Everyone hates Brent part two. Uh, part let's, two. Go, let's go get clipped up. <laughs> I was going to get clipped, okay, and then you're going to clip. That's fine. And, and I and some of the pictures that you have, they I don't look the best, but that's okay because I know Henry. I you're you're working hard trying to grow um, your channel. I'll, I'll be honest. Sometimes I'm just is just my editor picking whatever screen grabs he can. I, I mean, I, it, give, I give him the timestamps and just be like, "Have at it." <laughs> and the way he made look, Aaron. Oh my God! I mean. <laughs> Oh, oh. Uh, yeah. oh, and Aaron's like, I like it. Come on, Aaron, you're he's sensitive I, what as you, fuck, man. Oh. <laughs> and he released that clip about Kyle Higgins. Oh. Yeah. Oh wow, that's that's a bunch of bullshit. Because Whoa. there needs to be context, and you need to speak with him if you're gonna do that. If 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 you're really about peace and because um, <laughs> he preaches a good game, and okay, where here's where's the thing. JDF and IMDb? Where JDF? Where is his credit as a producer? Where is that, <laughs> exactly. Aaron? Aaron, where, you you care so much about producer credit, a uh, creative credit about uh, a comic, and I know I question even whether JDF actually had creative deserve that credit because of how you acted. So I, I do wonder now, did, did JDF even deserve? That's, that's a whole other discussion. But maybe um, did he deserve it? We don't know. Uh, we don't the, hear the other side. The best villain antagonist ever. Now, nah, Aaron, Aaron wants. Aaron wants everyone to know about that Kyle Higgins audio. That's his thing. Right, but he did not release the whole release the whole tape. This, this, this is a familiar. This sounds familiar, right? <laughs> release the whole tape. Release the Kyle tape. Is Pat Billington gonna make a a, a meme out of that? We'll, we'll see. Um, and then and then and then um, Scan's gonna be like, keep your name out of your keep your name out of your mouth. Keep my name out of your mouth. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Aaron- you know. That, talked but, in like that's buzzwords, devastating. like uh, you're that, angry, that, that, you're negative. I'm just like, bro, my god, it was. It you was released a, a tape of JDF saying those words without context at a right two days before a con where JDF is being celebrated, is being loved by many fans. Absolutely irresponsible. Mm-hmm. You can be ashamed of yourself for doing that, especially if you don't release the whole audio. It's just <laughs> bullshit <laughs> because no, that's absolutely devastating to do that. It's, it's not right. It's not right what he did. Now, whether we that actually happened or not, I don't know. I wasn't there. But for you to do that and not to release the whole context, shameful. Because people love JDF, and for when you play a clip of him saying that uh, Kyle s- did something negative, people are going to listen, and they're going to and they might not buy a, a comic from him because of that. And it's not right. It's, it's a bunch of bullshit. Aaron should be. And and, and, and then now he, uh, if I ask him at PMC, where's JDF's credit for Legend of the White Dragon? IMDb, the mo- the gold standard when it comes to movies and entertainment. IMDb, where's, where, I, we, we talked about producer credits. And, and while I was watching, I was saying, where's JDF? You you put the 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 name of the guy who's a co-creator who, who didn't have any, role but where's jdf's role <laughs> where's his role was he a producer aaron like um where's his producer where's his credit we should ask you did jdf get any credit for legend of the white dragon where uh, is it uh let's see look at producer is, is, does he have any credit does jdf have credit for producing the vid- the movie he's in the cast it's in there but now. does he have creative credit it's in there now because we could argue that People, if we ask Aaron, did, did, did JDF have uh, credit? It's in and there now. Aaron, it's it's updated because uh, I know someone else made it who brought it brought it to light. Awesome. Oh, good, 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 good. But it, it took two years after <laughs> his death to do that. But now, but but, but I brought it up on uh, on his comments. Now now it's there. It's very good, and very good. And now you acknowledge JDF as a producer. But you knew you 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 knew that he was a producer from the beginning. Acknowledge me. But I wonder. Hmm. 
but now he he put it in there. That's, that's good for him. Well, and he, he and, and Aaron Aaron has the authority. I think Aaron is the only one that could do that, right? Uh, you can't. Do- it's someone else he who he has do it. But yeah. Right, but but I can't go up there and and put no, my name can't. as a producer. No, 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 no. Right, you, you have to sign Someone. in. You have to sign in. Right, right. That's why it's so credible. Like it's not a Wikipedia page. It's IMDb. Jason David, like we we were discussing. I I asked him about the producers, and someone was missing. But I didn't <laughs> want to cause too much drama because um, it's pretty self explanatory. Like Jason should have been a producer credit from the beginning, not some random guy who donated ten thousand dollars. Come on. Come on, Aaron. The 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 <laughs> hypocrisy better. is do better, Aaron. Come on, the hypocrisy. And if if people come up at him about that, they're like, "We're about peace. We're, <laughs> we're there's there's a war in in Israel. Pal, um, the Palestinian Israel's they're fighting. The Russians, the Ukrainians, they're fighting. Um, let's not talk about let's not let's not talk about uh, Jason David Frank's last video <laughs> at a convention where he's being celebrated by by thousands of fans. Yeah, let's not talk about that. Let's talk about wars and politics. All right. My God, this guy. All right, bro. Unbelievable. Thank you. <laughs> All right.